morning welcome to the weekend in my life of me trying to lose weight and just testing that well we here that was an awful <laughs> if you don't know who i am my name is daria i'm 33 years old i just moved to london i've been overweight my whole life and i'm really trying to change that this year along with a lot of other things i just woke up like 20 minutes ago i got dressed I'm gonna get my breakfast so I can eat it before I go to the gym. Today I am gonna take my first gym class. I am very excited. I haven't been able to do it in such a long time. And going to gym classes was like always my favorite thing. I just got my kneecap a um, year and a half ago. And since then I was just kind of self-reliant um, on my own exercise because I was scared, you know, that um, there are going to be some exercises that I'm not going to be able to do and then it's awkward and I just didn't want to push myself, you know what I mean. So I finally decided today is the day. Um, I am low-key terrified, but it's just a pump, so I think I'll be fine, but I'm very, very, very excited. I'll tell you all about it right after. Let's go make breakfast together. So I'm going to give you the recipe. Oh, it's so good. So obviously first you have to peel the potatoes, then you cut the potatoes and then you fry the potatoes. It takes a little bit of time to fry them. So I usually pop them in the microwave for a little bit to make them a bit softer and then I fry them. So when your potatoes are in the microwave, you just cut your tomatoes and a little bit of spinach. You add some seasoning to your potatoes and then you fry them. You add some frozen peppers, you can be fresh one, I just didn't have them. Fry, 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 add your tomatoes, add your spinach, then you add two eggs with salt and pepper, a little bit of ketchup and a little bit of sriracha and voila. I know it probably doesn't look like the most appetizing dish, I don't know if you can see it, um, but it's delicious and it's filling and that's all you need for breakfast. Mm. Amazing. Oh my god guys, I had the most bizarre experience at the gym, I'm gonna tell you after I <laughs> take a shower and have a minute for myself, but Jesus Christ, the hell! Oh my god, I forgot to touch base with you, <laughs> I came home, I had a shower, I had my food and then I decided to clean my room and clean the flat and I'm freaking tired but let me tell you what happened today at the gym because that's just the most ridiculous thing and it made me feel very weird <sighs> so basically I just started going to this gym this is my, this was my second time and the first time taking a class like I said I was very very excited and then the guy I could barely hear him he was like mumbling and also the acoustic of the room was quite weird if you dropped something even a little bit it sounded like a thunder it was just horrible and then he like checked the attendance and when it came to me he was like oh this is your first time and I said generally no but here yes um and then he started asking me questions about like when did I move like what like when did I start going and I was like oh I moved from Edinburgh that I moved here and I just start going and whatever I said I'm going three times a week so yeah that was it and then he was like trying to talk to me all the time and he was like singling me out and you know if you're a fat person you know that feeling like you just want to disappear and you just want to be like the last person there so no one pays attention and I'm always like the fattest in the class and I hate it <laughs> and he was just like talking to me all the time asking me questions about like what's my goal and I said weight loss and then he was like oh so what are you doing how many times and then he said that he would like he can like give me a tour of the gym and I said yeah that's fine I've been here already um he was just like trying to like probably sell you know his like PT um, coaching, which I was really not interested in. And I said, I'm going three times a week. And he said, oh, so what did you do before? And I said that like, I had a personal trainer, but I used to take classes before I dislocated my kneecap. And he was like, oh, so you had a PT. And I said that, oh yeah. And he was like, oh, so what did you do with PT? I'm like, oh, it depends. Yeah, but like, what, what, did, what did you train with him? And he was like attacking me. And it was so freaking weird. Like, I don't want to talk to you, dude. 
and I don't want your judgment because I think he was just trying to like you know hint at like that my PT wasn't great and like um go away and then he was asking and I was like saying that you know it, 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 it like depends and I was like doing one day with PT and then and um the rest by myself who's like yeah one day is not enough I'm like yeah but i was going by myself as well and then he was like oh when you go to the gym what do you do I, and i said i usually do full body because that's what i like and he was like for how long an hour two hours and i was like i don't know 45 minutes and he was like oh so you do one exercise per muscle that's not good that's not good you should be not doing that i'm like get away from me what do you want <laughs> i was like sweating dying there and he i felt so attacked it was so freaking weird oh why do men do that why do people do that it's not the way to sell your cellulars so yeah i won't be coming back and i don't know if i even if I... good morning it's sunday um i woke up like an hour and a half ago but i was just chilling in bed i'm in so much pain my legs are literally killing me i know it's normal to have like muscle pain after exercise but um hmm, that's a bit much they're literally hurting without me even like walking. I couldn't sleep last night. I was waking up because I was in pain. Huh, not great. I don't know how much exploring I will do today. For now, I'm just gonna go grab a coffee, have some breakfast, and do some live admin. So, yes, I'll see you later. What a day. I had to do some work and I will have to do some bit more work in the evening. It's been crazy times. We had like two pitches that are due. One is due on Monday and one is due tomorrow. And I had to do quotes and gun charts and all of that. And it's just been very chaotic, let me tell you that. <laughs> I'm very tired mentally and physically, but I need some time to go out and do things and not just stay in this room because that's not good for anyone um so i'm gonna take you with me to broadway market which is my favorite place and then we're gonna go to get some plants maybe maybe okay let's go okay so good to be out oh so if you don't know that i am a project manager and i work in a creative agency so um i deal with lots of budgeting, um, timings, and stuff like that. It's fun, it's a bit stressful. <laughs> This is my perfect Sunday. If anyone would ask me what's my hobby, this is it. This is legit it. Just getting out of the house, going for a little walk with my iced coffee, preferably, and going to some cute markets to browse, to browse the shops, to have some food, have some coffee, some snacks. It was quite a busy day and lots of delicious smells. and I knew exactly what I was coming for. Last time I went there, I had some onigiri and it was amazing, but I sampled the most delicious coconut curry and that's what I was coming for. Guys, it's the best thing I've ever had. Like, I'm not even kidding you, delicious. <laughs> flower market and I honestly recommend going there a little bit later in the afternoon I was there around 3 p.m. and a lot of vendors start packing and that's where you get the best deals last time I went there I legit I bought a huge monstera a hanging plant and another plant and I think I paid for all three of them 25 quid isn't that amazing so they're just trying to sell out what didn't sell so you can get amazing deals
Oh, what the fuck? My feet hurt so much. <laughs> my shoes hurt my feet. And I took the bus and it fucking changed direction midway. So, oh. how is that even allowed? I think there's no more skin left on my feet. I'm in so much pain. I'm home now. I am very tired. I've done some work. Now I'm just gonna record some videos. Um, I have a meeting at 9.30, which is super exciting. <laughs> I'm gonna have a hot shower and then go to bed. It's been a day, <laughs> let me tell you. It's been a day. I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow as well because <laughs> I'm gonna hop on a scale and see how much has changed in a week. Hopefully it's gonna be at least a pound. I've been good. I've been really good. I've been sticking to my calorie deficit every day so yeah go me i'll see you later i have so much to do we're gonna talk tomorrow ciao morning guys ignore how i look <laughs> i haven't washed my hair yet and it's been a crazy morning i worked yesterday until like 11 p.m and i can't just go back to sleep like i can't just go to sleep right after i had like unwind so i went to bed around midnight and then i woke up and it was like seven um and i started earlier today as well but big news i stepped on a scale today and i'm down four pounds that's insane <laughs> i'm so happy honestly this thing is working like i'm so 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 excited for the future because i've noticed that i'm not even thinking about the big picture that like i need to lose this amount of weight because obviously i need to lose more than 12 pounds but i'm just taking week it week by week i don't know if you've noticed but i'm more bold with filming in public <laughs> well there's no one here <laughs> So like I mentioned, I've lost four pounds in one week. Isn't that the best thing ever? I know that this is just first week and probably like this is not going to continue that way. But my goal was 12 pounds in 12 weeks and I'm already four pounds in. So <laughs> take a good steps for that, yeah. <laughs> I'm very proud of myself, actually. Let's just let's just look at my notion board. So batch script and recording. That's I've not done that. <laughs> um, learn a new thing. I've done it every day. Thank you, TikTok. <laughs> post on Instagram. Yes, completed. Post it three times a week. Um, post on post on Instagram. Yes, post it three times a week. Post on TikTok. I create content strategy. Yes, but that will need to be redone. I'll talk about it in a sec. Make a weekly content plan. Uh, yes, post YouTube video. Yes, gym three times a week. I actually went only twice. Um, six. A thousand steps a day and beyond yes um half a, uh, one and a half liter of water a day five times a week two thousand calories yes every day meal plan done research recipes done and make a workout plan yes so as you can see i've done quite well i'm super super proud of myself but it was only a first week and i kind of feel burned out we as humans and to overestimate how much we can get done in a day. And I've clearly done that. <laughs> so I'm changing my goal instead of hitting two and a half thousand um, followers, subscribers here on YouTube and 1K on Instagram, 1K on TikTok. I'm just gonna focus on YouTube because it was too much guys. It was <laughs> way too much. And I've been like sending voice notes to my friends complaining about, oh, maybe I should just delete all my social media. Um, and the return on investment was quite low. Although my reels got some traction. Um, one of them hit like seven or 8,000, which is like a very new thing for me. I thought my Instagram account was dead in the water. On TikTok, I hit a new low. I'm not even on like two to 300 view jail. One of my videos got 14 views. Like, excuse me, 
that's a bit insane. So I might still be posting, but with less pressure. I'm gonna rethink the strategy and stuff. So I'm gonna focus on just one thing. And that's what all the strategies always say, just focus on one. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then now 11 weeks, I might set another goal. So yeah, that's a little update from me. I really hope that you can see that this kind of works. Four pounds. <laughs> yeah, I've also gained some subscribers here. So thank you. Hello, guys. I'm so happy that you're here. Welcome to our very small but um, very loving community. And yeah, I will see you next week. Subscribe. <laughs>